1b if you really want to win cheat first we are going to learn grammar first a grammar here past tenses past simple past continuous and past perfect so in which sports are there most cases of cheating how do people cheat in these sports okay uh, famous cheating moments in sport so these are famous cheating moments in sport uh, divine intervention football with a little help from my friends athletics then this honest chenko fencing it is fencing okay uh, let's pause and answer to these two questions in which sports are their most cases of cheating how do people cheat in these sports okay pause and read these three paragraphs of the article finished okay uh, please answer the above question this question finished if not uh, you can read the text again pause and read and answer the question now i'll read the answers in football diego maradona used his hand to score the winning goal then athletics fred lords went in a friend's car for part of the marathon then fencing boris anischenko boris anischenko changed part of his sword it turned on the heat light without him hitting his opponent okay now exercise c look at the highlighted verbs in text one what three tenses are there underline example of each tense in the other two texts okay so these are the un uh, highlighted verbs and, and uh, you have to guess which one is past simple which one past continuous which one is past perfect okay past tenses simple continuous perfect here uh, highlighted verbs pause and think about it now can you tell the answer okay now i will tell the answer we're playing it's past continuous ing it means continuous where it's past yeah protest protest it, it's past simple then had scored had scored is past perfect had scored past perfect see protested past simple we're playing we're playing past mm, continuous then had scored past perfect now pause and find out uh, the answers from to these two paragraphs finished now i will uh, read you the answers past simple uh, here in the second paragraph one then uh, also finished past simple then uh, um, was in the crowd was past simple then also took took a photo past simple then other past simples started shouting started past simple then didn't win also past simple now past perfect past perfect here uh, had traveled past perfect had traveled now in the uh, third paragraph past simple um, past simple here let's see protested said past simple also uh, examined past simple made past simple could past simple here um, what else could went past simple called uh, past simple next past continuous past continuous here was competing then uh, what else was scoring 
was showing past uh, continuous yeah was winning past continuous also next uh, past perfect past perfect here um, had changed had changed then uh, then what else uh, had changed he turned his hadn't hit hadn't hit yeah, so this also uh, past perfect next which of the three tenses in C do we use for complete actions in the past okay uh, for example which of the tenses do we use for completed actions in the past do you know the answer completed action in the past it is past simple which of the three tenses do we use for an action in progress at a particular moment in the past do you know the answer answer is past continuous next which of the three tenses do we use for an action that happened before the past time we're talking about past time before that past time that we're talking about so the answer is past perfect is it clear if not let's uh, read more in detail about past tenses past simple past simple work stopped went had etc examples they got married last year what time did you wake up this morning i didn't have time to do my homework so use the past simple for finished past actions finished past action means they got married last year it happened in the past and it finished next past continuous was where plus verb ing where doing you see where was where do verb ing doing so let's read the example what were you doing at six o'clock last night i was watching tv it was a cold night and it was raining so use the past continuous to describe an action in progress at a specific time in the past so past continuous to describe an action in progress at a specific time in the past so this is specific time in the past uh, six o'clock last night and uh, we used here past continuous what were you doing i was watching tv see next past perfect past perfect it's had then past participle for example had finished yeah or hadn't flown fly flew flown flown examples when they turned on the tv the match had finished had finished uh, this is a regular verb that's why we add ed yeah finish finished now uh, flown fly uh, fly uh, it's past participle of fly fly flew flown i felt nervous because i hadn't flown before so use the past perfect is the past perfect when you are talking about the past and you want to talk about in an earlier past action so uh, we use past perfect when we're already talking about the past yeah and you want to talk about an earlier past action for example i felt nervous in the past when you did something you felt nervous because you hadn't flown before so before you get nervous you never experienced uh, how to fly so you hadn't flown before see next using narrative tenses together so narrative tenses you can use in this way when john arrived they had dinner john arrived then they had dinner see when john arrived john arrived they had dinner then they had dinner when John arrived, they were having dinner. Here, when John arrived, they were in the middle of dinner. You see uh, the difference between these two sentences? Pause and uh, read yourself. Next sentence. When John arrived, they had had dinner. So, they had dinner before John arrived. See? Now, pause, compare and read and compare these three sentences. Great, now let's try to do these two examples, exercise A and exercise B. 
A. Combine the two sentences. Use the verb in bold in the past continuous or past perfect. So uh, these are the verbs in bold. So you have to change them into past continuous or uh, past perfect. See? For example, Sarah had a siesta. Siesta means short sleep. Sarah had a siesta from 3 to 5. Peter picked up the tickets at 4. Peter picked up the tickets when Sarah was having a siesta. So these are two sentences. Sarah had a siesta from 3 to 5. Yeah. Now, next sentence, Peter picked up the tickets at 4. So here we have two sentences. Now we are combining it into one sentence. Here an example. Peter picked up the tickets when Sarah was having a siesta. So she was having a siesta between 3 to uh, 5 and uh, Peter took the tickets at 4. So Peter picked up the tickets when Sarah was having a siesta. So past continuous. And uh, where did we take this uh, verb have? We took it from this uh, bold verb had yeah so had is in past continuous uh, have ing past continuous was have ing sarah was having a siesta now pause and read all these uh, sentences and uh, combine them into the correct form of the verb uh, of the tense past continuous or past perfect now pause and do this exercise finished Okay, uh, let me read the answers. First, when I arrived, they were watching TV. Second, when she phoned him, he had left the office. Third, the exam didn't go well, although I had studied the night before. Fourth, when he was cycling to work this morning, he had an accident. Fifth, when he passed his driving test, he had only had five lessons. Next exercise B. Complete with the past simple, past continuous, or past perfect. So uh, we will read these sentences, and uh, by reading the sentences, we can guess which tense goes into this gap. So we must use past simple, past continuous, or past perfect. Example We not realize B. Yeah, we, mm -hmm, that, we, mm -hmm, were before. Okay, so here we didn't realize that we had been there before. We did not realize that we, be, was where been, so past perfect, had been there before. Now pause and read uh, all these uh, ex uh, examples and, uh, mm, sorry, sentences and uh, do this exercise. Okay, now I will read the answers. How did the accident happen? He was driving back from Manchester when he hit a tree. Two, I had already started cooking the meal when they called me to say they couldn't come. Three, when I got home, I was really tired, so I had a shower and went to bed. Four, I arrived too late. The concert had finished and my friends had gone home. Five, the driver lost control of his car because he was talking on his mobile. Okay, finished. So this is the end of this video. See you.